Scott Simpson. Speaker, before uh, making some very brief comments on this third reading of this bill, I seek the indulgence of the House just to uh, uh, make a passing comment on the uh, sad death today of Martin Crowe, one of New Zealand's truly great sports people, um, a man who has contributed enormously to this country uh, on the sporting field and off it. I had the good fortune to attend Auckland Grammar School at the same time as Martin Crowe and his obvious talent even as a young member of the first cricketing 11 uh, during those years was immediately obvious to all. And not only that was uh, uh, his, uh, his skill of, uh, uh, obvious to all, but so too was his natural joy and love for the game. He epitomised true sportsmanship and um, our country is the sadder for his loss. Uh, condolences to his family, his friends and his teammates, per Angusta at Algusta. The Radiation Safety Bill, sir, is a technical uh, bill. It's received um, a lot of uh, acknowledgement in debates uh, across the chamber from parties across the House. And um, I think we're all in agreement that it's a necessary bill. It brings up-to-date legislation that was passed in the 1960s that was um, now completely out of date uh, and needed to bring us into line with international best practice. So the committee members all, I think, learnt lots as we went through this process, and I want to join with others who have already acknowledged the very good and effective work of the officials who were advising us for making what was quite technical and dry information meaningful, relevant and uh, um, uh, understandable to us as mere committee members. Sir, this uh, bill replaces an existing piece of legislation that, as I said, dates back to the 1960s. It's appropriate that we pass it, and I'm delighted and pleased uh, that across the House there seems to be unanimity on it. I commend it to the House.